Hello everyone, you are just joining in our literary heaven, the literary nook by Fairy. Let's start our today's topic, but before going further, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like the videos and share. So today I will uh, discuss about the restoration period or restoration age or the age of Dryden as it is famously called from 1660 till 1700. After the restoration in 1660, when Charles II came to the throne, there was a complete um, repudiation of the Puritan ideals and uh, ways of living. In English literature, the period from 1660 till 1700 is called the period of restoration because the monarchy was restored in England. Charles II, the son of Charles I, who had begun who had been defeated and beheaded, came back to England from his exile in France and became the king. It is called the Age of Dryden because Dryden was a dominating and the most representative literary figure of uh, the time. As the Puritans who were previously controlling the country and were um, supervising uh, her literary and moral social standards were finally defeated, a reaction was launched against whatever they held sacred. All restraints and disciplines were thrown to the winds and a wave of licentious and frivolity swept the country. Charles II and his followers who had enjoyed a gay life in France during their exile did their best to introduce that type of uh, foppery and looseness in England also. They renounced old ideals, demanded that English poetry and drama should follow the style to which they had become accustomed in the gate of Paris, instead of having Shakespeare and Elizabethans as their models, the poets dramatist and, uh, of the Restoration period began to imitate French writers and especially their vices. The result was that the old Elizabethan spirit was it, and with its puritanism or patriotism, its love of adventure, romances, its creative vigor, the puritan spirit with its uh, most uh, disciple and Love of liberty became things of the past. Uh, for a time in poetry, drama and prose, nothing was produced which could compare satisfactorily with the great achievements of the Elizabethans or, or and of the Milton and even of the minor writers of the Puritan age. But then the writers of the period began to evolve something that was characteristic of the times. They made two important contributions to English literature in the form of realism and tendency to preciseness. In the beginning, realism took an ugly shape because the writers painted the real picture of the corrupt society and the court. They were more concerned with the vices rather than with the virtues. The result was, of course, an inferior type of literature. Later, this tendency to realism became more wholesome and the writers tried to realize or uh, the tendency to realism become more wholesome. Writers tried to portray realistically human life as they found it, its good as well as uh, the bad side, its internal as well as the external shapes and the ten tendency to preciseness which ultimately became the chief characteristic of the restoration period made a lasting contribution to English literature. It emphasized directness, simplicity of expressions, connectedness to tendency, exaggeration, extravagance, which was encouraged during the Elizabethans and the Puritans. Instead of using grandiloquent phrases, involved sentences full of Latin quotations, classical allusions, restoration writers under the influence of French writers gave emphasis to the reasoning rather than the romantic fancy and involved an exact, precise way of writing consisting of short, clear-cut sentences without any unnecessary word. The Royal Society, which was established during this period, enjoyed on all its members to use a close, naked, natural way of speaking and writing so near the mathematical plainness as they can. Dryden accepted this rule for his prose and for his poetry adopted the easiest type of the verse form, the heroic couplet. Under his guidance, the English writers evolved a style, precise, formal, and eloquent, which is called the classical style and which dominated English literature for more than a century. The Restoration poetry was mostly historical, realistic, and written in the heroic couplet, of which Dryden was the supreme master. He was the dominating figure of the Restoration period and he made his mark in the fields of poetry, drama, and prose. In the field of poetry, he was in fact the only poet worth mentioning. In his youth, he came under the influence of Cowley and his early poetry has the characteristic 
conceits exaggerations of the metaphysical school but in his later years he emancipated himself from the false taste and artificial style of the metaphysical writers and wrote in a clear and forceful style which laid the foundation of the classical school of poetry in england the poetry of dryden conveniently divided under under three heads political styles and doctrinal poems the fables of his uh, political styles absalom and the architophel and the medal are well known and in absalom and the architophel which is one of the greatest political styles um, political styles in english languages dryden defended the king against the earl of shaftesbury who is represented as an agistofel and it contains powerful character studies of the shaftesbury and of the duke of the buckingham who is represented as zimri and the medal is another historical poem full of inactive against shaftesbury and macflacon it also contains a scathing personal attack on the thomas shadwell who once a friend of dryden the true great uh, doctrinal poems of dryden are um, religio lessi and the hind and the panther these poems are neither religious nor devotional but theological and controversial the fables which were written during the last years of dryden life show no decrease in his poetic power written in the form of a narrative they entitled dryden to rank among the best storytellers in the world in england the palman and the arset which is based on the chaucer's knight's tale gives us opportunity of comparing the method and the art of 14th century poet with one belonging to the 17th century and his alexander's feast is one of the best odes in english language the poetry of dryden possesses all the characteristics of the restoration period and is therefore thoroughly representative of that age it doesn't have the poetic glow or the spiritual fever and the moral loftiness and philosophical depth which were sadly lacking in the restoration period but it has uh, the formalism the intellectual precision argumentative skill realism which were the main characteristics of that age the dryden doesn't reach great poetic heights yet here and uh, there he gives us passages of the wonderful strength and eloquence in the reputation lies in his being great as a stylist reasoner in the verse in fact in these two capacities he is still the greatest master in english literature dryden's greatest contribution to the english poetry was his skillful use of heroic couplet in 1642 the theaters were closed by the authority of the parliament which was dominated by the puritans and so on good plays were written from 1642 till the restoration coming back of the monarchy in england with the uh, succession of charles ii to the throne in 1660 when the theaters were reopened the drama in england after 1660 called the restoration drama showed entirely new trends on account of the long break with past moreover it was greatly affected by the spirit of the new age which was deficient in poetic feeling imagination emotional approach to life but laid emphasis on prose as the medium of the expression and the intellectual realistic critical approach to life and its problems as the common people still under the influence of the puritanism had no love for the theaters the dramatist had to cater to the taste of the aristocratic class which was highly fashionable frivolous cynical and sophisticated the result was that unlike the elizabethan drama which had a mass appeal and has its root in the life of the common people and could be legitimately called the national drama the restoration drama had none of these characteristics its appeal was confined to the upper uh, strata of the society whose taste was aristocratic and among which the prevailing fashions and etiquettes were foreign and extravagant as imagination and poetic feelings were regarded as um, vulgar uh, enthusiasm as we can rightly said by the dictators of the social life but as period do, do not have or they give us a picture of the whole nation the most popular form of drama was the comedy of manners which portrayed the sophisticated life of the dominant class of the society its gaiety foppery insolence and intrigue 
Thus, the basis of the restoration drama was very narrow. The general tone of this drama was most aptly described by Shelley. Comedy loses its uh, ideal universality, which succeeds humor, and we laugh from self-complacency and triumph instead of the pleasure, malignity, sarcasm, and contempt succeed to obscenity, which is never blasphemy against the divine beauty of life becomes from the very veil which it assumes more achieve more active and uh, if less distinguishing is a monster for which the corruption of the society forever bring forth new food which it devours the secret these new trends in comedy are seen in dryden's wild gallant and it is mainly an uh, on account of his remarkable style that Congreve is put at the head of the restoration drama. No English dramatist has even written such fine prose for the stage as Congreve. And he balances, polishes, sharpens the sentences until they shine like a childish instrument for an electrical experiment. As the plays of those moral standards become lax, they do not have a universal appeal, but as social documents, their value is very great. Though these comedies were subjected to a very severe criticism by the romantics like Shelley and Lamb, they were now again in great demand and there is a revival of the interest in restoration comedy. In tragedy, restoration period specialized in heroic tragedy, which dealt with the themes of epic magnitude. The heroes and the heroines possessed superhuman qualities and the purpose of this tragedy was didactic to um, culcate virtues in the shape of the bravery and the conjugal love it was written in heroic couplet chief protagonists and writers of a heroic tragedy was dryden under his leadership heroic tragedy dominated the stage from 1660 to 1678 and the first experiment in this type of drama was his play tyrannic love and the conquest of the granada the restoration period was uh, deficient in poetry and drama but in prose it holds its head much higher of course, it cannot be said that restoration pose, uh, prose enjoys absolute supremacy in English literature because on account of the fall of the poetic power, lack of inspiration, preferences of the merely practical and persoic subjects and approach to life, it couldn't reach those heights which it attained in the preceding periods in the hands of the Milton and Braun. Nebrone, or in the succeeding ages in the hands of the Lamb, Hazlitt, Ruskin, and Carlyle. But it has to be admitted that it was during the Restoration period that English prose was developed as a medium for expressing clearly and precisely average ideas, feelings about the miscellaneous matters for which prose is rarely meant. For the first time, a prose style was evolved, uh, evolved which could be used for plain narrative, argumentative exposition of intricate subjects, and the handling of practical business. The elaborate Elizabethan prose was unsuited to the telling of plain story, and the epigrammatic style of the bacon, the grand liquid prose of Milton, and the dreamy harmonies of Brony could not be adopted to scientific, historical, political, philosophical writings, and above all, to novel writing, thus the change in the temper of the people, a new type of prose, and was developed in the restoration period was essential. As in the field of the poetry and drama, and Dryden was the chief leader and practitioner of the new prose. In the greatest critical work, essay of dramatic poesy, Dryden presented the model of the new prose, which was completely different from the prose of the Bacon, Milton, and Brawny. He brought or wrote in a plain, simple, exact style, free from all exaggerations. And other writers of the period who came under the influences of Dryden wrote in a plain, simple, but uh, precise style was Sir uh, William Temple, John uh, Tillerson, and George Seville, uh, better known as Viscount Halifax. Another famous writer of the period was Thomas Sapper. That was all for today. Stay connected for more literary videos. Me, Ferry, signing out from the Literary Nook by Ferry.